Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Joey here. Today was fun. I got to go to the most magical place on Earth. I got to walk around and see all the gorgeous decorations because it's my favorite time of the year. And it's... No, quit it. You know what I want. Get those trees out of here and bring me some pumpkins. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to the Magic Kingdom to look at some really cool Halloween stuff. Take a walk with me. As we explore the schwagtastic things that are... Mickey Pumpkin Lights, Mickey Pumpkin Pails, Mickey Pumpkin Lamps. Mickey, if it's Mickey and it's a pumpkin, it's on something. It's pretty cool. Everything from trick-or-treat bags to those glowing head things that the batteries usually make it through the evening and die. When, is that a croc? Those are crocs. You gotta be kidding. You know what? There's a market for everything. Um, uh, the Oogie Boogie stuff. They did a whole section for Nightmare Before Christmas, Maleficent, Hades. The purses are... There was an entire wall of purses. There's always a wall of Mickey ears, so this really shouldn't shock anybody. The Oogie Boogie hat made a comeback. All in all, it was a good time. And the shopping is fun, but I just... You know, when push comes to shove, we gotta get some junk food. It's all about the junk food. I mean, come on. Nobody goes to the Magic Kingdom for broccoli. If we're going to MK, we're going to do it up. We're going to get some cupcakes. We're going to get some fudge. We're going to get our caramel apples. We're going to get our chocolate chip cookies. I'm already full, and I haven't even touched anything yet. I just, I'm so blown away by their selection. Every time I come back here to the marketplace on the right-hand corner of uh, Main Street, the, uh, you know where it is, like right when you walk in just past Mickey, that's where all of these snacks are hidden. You know, I can't figure out if the popcorn is the same or if they just dye it. Speaking of which, the cotton candy uh, gets a magenta change. If you're like me and you want something a little bit more put together, you get your poor unfortunate soul float, your Peter Pan float. The Mickey sippers are available basically everywhere. Even Buzz Lightyear gets his own. Uh, pumpkin spice sundae, pumpkin spice milkshake, pumpkin spice everything. And of course, the seasonal popcorn buckets. Oogie Boogie, what's he up to? Oh. There he is, ask and you shall receive. It looks like the Nightmare Before Christmas float is gonna be hanging out with us. I see Jack, I see Sally. On the back of it, there he is, Mr. Popcorn Bucket himself, Oogie Boogie. I love when Disney does this. It is a shame we're not gonna get to see the full parade, but I'm glad I was at least fortunate enough to catch a few of these floats in action because they really do a tremendous job. What's up, Jack, how you doing? Well, now that we see that they did an amazing job with The Nightmare Before Christmas, I can't wait to see what we have next. And there it is, uh, the Happy Halloween float. This is going to be your main float. Uh, the dancers that are coming up first are from the, the various rides throughout the park. And then, of course, the actual float itself has four of our Fab Five. There is Pluto dressed as a lion, Minnie dressed as a fairy, Mickey dressed as a vampire. Coming up on the back, we got Donald as a superhero. And there's Daisy dressed as a witch. Super cute, the kids loved it. Everywhere I look, it's just a bunch of people smiling. So well done, Disney, for bringing Halloween. But this still isn't my favorite float because here come the villains and they need no introduction. However, Hello, we're gonna give them one anyway. Without any further ado, I bring you the villains of Disney. I mean, come on. It just wouldn't be Halloween without the bad guys, right? You gotta throw a few in there, and man, did they. If you're a fan of the Disney villains, this will not disappoint. Normally, you would think they're just gonna do like a band does and play the stuff off their new album. No, we don't want that. We don't want the new stuff. Give us the old, give us the OG, give us the original bad guys. I wanna see Maleficent hanging out with Chernabrog, hanging out with the Wicked Queen. Yeah, they'll throw a Jafar in there and uh, a Gaston, but you know, you gotta keep it relevant with the kids. <laughs> Which brings us to our final float. This is when we all say goodbye. I see Pooh Bear, I see Tigger, I see Eeyore and Piglet. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you for hanging out, and again, have a magical day. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being so cool and helping me do something that I love. So again, thank you. All of my links are up above. You can find me on all social media platforms. And with the holiday seasons upon us, I am going to be crazy busy. So if anybody out there would like to help do a collaboration piece, jump on a film with me. Totally reach out, because remember, one artist is good, but four is better. And if you don't agree with me, four words. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Thank you, guys. Take care.